Well, the Super Bowl is certainly one of the toughest tickets to try and get, but somehow three fans have found a way to get one for every single Super Bowl. They call themselves the Never Missed a Super Bowl Club, and they'll be in the stands again, this time in Tampa on Sunday. CBS 17's Jack Doles joins us live outside Raymond James Stadium. And Jack, how do they manage to score these yet again? Well, the NFL hooked them up. Uh, they heard that these guys hadn't had their tickets yet. They offered them up at face value, so they all paid the $2,000, and they'll be in Raymond James Stadium for Super Bowl 55. It's one of the toughest tickets in sports, but somehow Gregory Eaton, Tom Henschel, and Don Christman have been to every single Super Bowl. What does this streak mean to you? I don't know how to put it in words. Uh, it's just something I was meant to do, I guess. They are three men from three completely different backgrounds, yet they formed a bond thanks to this shared experience. Don Chrisman is a Patriots fan from Kennebunkport, Maine. Tom Henschel is a Steelers fan from Pittsburgh, while Gregory Eaton hails from Lansing, Michigan. He's a Lions fan. My parents always tell me you never give up. His Lions haven't been to the big game yet, but that hasn't dampened his enthusiasm for going. In the World Series, I've been Olympics, I've been championship fights with Muhammad Ali. I followed him all over the morning. But this is, is what I live for each year. Having been to all 54, each has a favorite. Since the Patriots and Steelers have each won six, it's not hard to figure out which ones Don and Tom point to. But Gregory has never seen his Lions play in the big game. What was the best Super Bowl you've been to? The Super Bowl, where we had two black head coaches in Miami. It was especially meaningful to Gregory because of his first Super Bowl experience in Miami. That was a thrill that I never thought I'd dream because the first Super Bowl in Miami, I left Lansing with five white businessmen and we got to Miami and they were at the Jack Club. I couldn't stay there. I had to stay. I stayed at a black hotel. I hear you. Can you hear me? Well, the times certainly have changed. Now Gregory can stay pretty much anywhere he wants. I did ask him, Wes, how much he paid for all those tickets. He said, uh, never really added them up. But if the first Super Bowl ticket was $12, if you added up the average price all the way through Super Bowl 54, would be over $30,000 to go to these games. And that's just for the tickets. Doesn't account for travel, food, lodging. It's a pretty expensive hobby. Maybe so, but I, I, it clearly has made him very happy. All right, Jack, only 14,500 tickets, talk about cost, made available for sale. So how much on average are folks paying for these tickets this go-round? Yeah, right now you go to StubHub or Vivid, any of those seat sites, about $6,000. And the most expensive ticket we've been able to find, over 350000 So break out the trust fund. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, yeah, they can keep those tickets for that price. Jack Doles, thanks so much. And we'll continue to have every angle of the big game covered with live sports from Tampa, Florida throughout the week.